Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I've brought in my new lucky charm. Brought in uh, <laughs> Lucky Madman. Hoping he can bring me some luck as I'm going to be doing some birthday summons here today. A little bit of a, belate, a belated birthday summons because my birthday was on the 16th. But, you know, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe, uh, well, we do have lucky, but maybe I will get lucky. How you doing, Lucky? It's good to have you back. I'm doing really well, man. Doing really well. Looking forward to the weekend. We finally made it. It's been a long week at work. I still miss vibing out and doing podcasts once in a while, which for those of you guys that do enjoy that, we will try to kind of bring everybody together and do them once in a while. You know, I mean, it's not going to be weekly anymore, but we're going to still continue to do it. It's not like the idea is totally gone. I don't know if you guys saw the last one. I'm going to tr probably try to plan another one like in the next few weeks here. We'll try to bring some people together. We'll talk about the state of the game, how everybody's doing and just, you know, just vibe out. Let's go to dive into the uh, summons here. So today I got a couple different things we're summoning. We're summoning the legendary, legendary all attribute. I have six regular legendaries, 12 LDs. That's where I need your help. Ooh. Lucky, I know. Some wind scrolls because for the love of me, I still need Chun Pong so badly. So I hope I get him there. And 143 Mystic Scrolls. So got some summons here. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping for a nat five. Maybe we'll get one. If we get lucky, we get two and hopefully an LD spark. Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. Yep. We're also going to be doing summons on the SP summons, right? Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll get some of the new units. But anyways, uh, tell me about yourself. How's everything going with everything? How you, you still been playing a lot? Still been streaming? Like, give me an update. Yeah. So I haven't been streaming as much as usual. Um, as you're probably aware, I know we've spoken about it on podcasts as well. I returned back to full-time work this year. So at the start of the year, I went back into accounting or fi a finance role in, in an accounting wow. um, department. So uh, life's changed a lot. So I went from full-time streaming over the last few years back into, you know, back transitioning back into a professional role again. So it's changed a lot. Um, taking up a lot more of my time. I know, I'm sure you probably don't miss it, but uh, month ends just around the corner at the moment as well. So it's keeping me pretty busy. But yeah, that's from a, that's from a work perspective. So yeah, just you know, getting back 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 into the because I I did step away from for about two years. Um, so it's a pretty big step away and then suddenly trying to get back into it. It felt like I'd never left though, you know, like I'm sure you probably feel the same. If you ever decided to go back into an accounting role, you feel like you would never have left. There's always a need for accountant. <laughs> I tell you that there's always a need for accountants. So, I mean, that was, that was kind of like my big thing when I, when I went full time is that my parents and my family was very supportive because they're like, hey, if full-time content creator doesn't work out, you can always go back and be an accountant. You know, they always need you. I know how that feels, but not too crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, nah, it's, it's, it's I not, mean, it's not super fun, is it? <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's different now. Once I stepped away, I stepped away with a different reason. I've come back with a bit more passion behind what I do now. So it's, uh, it's definitely been a lot more different. So yeah, that's, that's the work side of things. Streaming's been fun. I've kind of gotten back into it now that I've settled back into my role. So I've got a bit more of a rhythm going on with streaming. Uh, I've got a back into RTA as well this year. So it's been a while since I've done RTA, so I've um, been playing quite a fair bit of RTA. Um, How's that although going? I've taken... you right, so... um, oh, yes! oh, already! Okay. Hey, okay. Let me tell you about Taylor, all right? All right, tell me about Taylor. Summoned him? He's the reason why I didn't quit this game. Alright? No shot! Are you, are you just making but, this up or are you being serious? No, no, no. You know when you have a moment where you're in early game and all you want to do is get a nat 5 and you don't yep. summon one, so you burn all your crystal, you know, you buy all premium packs, you run out of premium packs, and then I had that moment. So I bought all my I bought all my crystals worth of premium packs. I didn't get a nat 5 and I said, fine, I'm gonna summon all the rest of my crystals, about 300 crystals. And I said, if I don't pull a nat 5, I am uninstalling the game. On the second last lightning, I believe it was. So, sorry, the second last summon it was, Tail popped up. And no I said, well, I have way. to play again. No wow. joke. Wait, when was no this? No joke. When what? was this? This was, this was a very long time ago. This would have been back in 2015 or 2016. Holy crap. I mean, back when he was yeah. still garbage. Back when he was still garbage, yeah. But, you know, that's the, that's around the time when... Do you remember the old Dragons B10 team? Which was the Verd, the Tarks with Tail and Galleon? Yep, yep. You know, yep. like, you can have triple Tark, but I was running double double Tark and, and Tail. Yep, that's what yeah. I think about your Terror, by the way. I just fed him. Don't eat him. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. I've summoned about 15 more of them since. I mean, like I said, I'm looking for a Nat 5, and we got one. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get yeah. a second one. We'll be above for sure. And I'll take the Crystals. Yeah. I I am dying for Crystals from all the, you know, Legend, you know, gems and everything like that. So I, I needed some more Crystals. That was good. But one thing I have noticed... Good. You have been pretty lucky so far. Like I've just been, I've just been <laughs> small listening talk. To I know small, small talk. talk. Small small talk. Ever since you've been talking, I don't know if you realize, but when I was doing the wind scrolls, we got so much lightning. It was crazy. Yeah, I saw that. I did see yeah. that. There was quite a lot of lightnings in there. Anyways, uh, back to it now. I mean, <laughs> so you're full time, you know, full time working once again, and you're yeah. part time content creating. Are you still like on a kind of a schedule ish, or are you kind of just going with? The uh, show? trying to get back onto a schedule. I found it tough. So I went from doing random days here and there and then i tried going back into a full time and then i found out you know what this isn't gonna work i get so exhausted after 
you know, five days of work and five days on streaming on top of it. So I'm, I think I'm going to balance it out and do about three days a week. That's I'm trying to lock lot. in my Monday, wow. Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then maybe on a weekend. Um, or when there's like a SWC event or something like that. So I'll end up, um, I'll end up watching one of those, do a watch party and whatnot. So yeah, no, just slowly getting back into it. But the main reason why I'm trying to do it is so I forced myself to do a bit more RTA. The meta's changed so much recently that I've, I've started to enjoy it. It's kind of circling back to turn two. So that's school, what I'm enjoying. Maybe. Back to old school, exactly right. To bring out the violent runes again. Exactly. Found it hard. <laughs> Found it hard because I can't. I can't really compete with people with Swift runes. So yeah, I'm trying to trying to find the right balance for my account now. For sure. What so yeah, no. Right now? What rank are you? Um, I think I was you know last what? I checked. I've, I haven't done wings for a while, but I I think I'm around rank 200. I climbed oh, up wow. to G2. I'm sitting on the G2 border right now. So, but I've been sitting there since I was about rank 80, I think. So a lot more people are climbing. It got to a point where it was taking like three or four minutes per queue. So I, I kind of bored of waiting around. So yeah, that's I decided terrible. I'll wait till more people climb up and then I'll, I'll start climbing again. So that's cool. What did you finish uh, last season? G2, I think it was. Yeah. G2. So was it close or did you kind of give up? Or what's oh, look, I'm, I've been really lazy, man. I, all I, oh my God, the line is... <laughs> Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Yeah, Just yeah let's keep, keep going. going. I, um, I told a few guildies. So I started climbing because a lot of my guildies have been climbing. We hang out on Discord quite a lot and um, they've been doing wings. So it motivated me to do a few more wings. And I said, look, if I'm at least uh, at least a win clear from the G1 border, I'll do more wings and I'll push for G2. And um, that's what ended up happening. I was at least about 15 points clear and uh, we just ended up doing more wings and pushing to G2. I think that's two two seasons in a row where we did, we did that now. So that's cool. I'm, I'm just lazy. I just do wings to get the guardian skin and stop. And <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, when you trust me from my perspective, playing a lot more casually, it's actually been a lot more fun. You don't oh, even yeah. care. Like you don't care about the rank. You don't care about anything. I mean, maybe that's just yeah. something that washed up people say, but I, I, I don't even <laughs> care. I just play and I just, you know, do whatever comps have a lot of fun. But that thing that you oh, said earlier, sure. you know, getting in the discord with some buddies or some guildies, that that's the stuff I still miss. There's some people who still do that. I see them in the service from time yeah. to time. That's the most fun. And honestly, yeah. I encourage a lot of people out there. If you guys got some guildies as well, even if you you guys are conqueror fighters doesn't matter try you know hopping into discord and do some rtas and watch each other play it's actually pretty fun and can control each other as well you guys can learn a lot actually as you guys are playing and commentating on each other's plays that's actually the most fun because over time i've noticed when you're just doing wings like in the past it's just kind of boring and it actually gets more frustrating too like when when things happen that are bad like procs and things when you're by yourself it's it's frustrating but with other people you can be like dude look at this like you guys can laugh about it and yeah get frustrated together it's it's so much more enjoyable exactly and you don't feel alone you know when you mm -hmm. when you when you're going through all those props by yourself you get really take it personally but when you let it out with other people around you it's actually not too bad you know you who, can actually laugh who would have thought it's people. nice to have friends you know what i mean <laughs> my whole life just, and, we just never had friends but fi finally you know and as, as you were talking about like um and this is like what also still keeps me in the game today and um what you were alluding to around you know jumping on discord call with your guildies it doesn't have to be guildies it could be friends from your home channels and stuff as well but creating that's like the first step to creating a community you know it's 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 a pretty pretty easy step to take but a lot of people really don't and uh, i would encourage a lot of people to do it and you'll get a lot more out of the game than you would experience um otherwise most definitely i mean at the end of the day you hear every content creator every person always say it right no matter how frustrated they are the thing that keeps them in the game is the friends and the community and you know all that sappy stuff but it, it's so true i'm really hoping you know after this COVID stuff subsides you know comp to us really starts doing some events again because they were man just before this started they were wrapping up and they were doing so much stuff dude like literally like the only mobile game where they actually cared about the community and like wanted to bring people together do events and stuff like that obviously promoting the game at the same time but yeah still it was it was crazy man. yeah i hope they i hope they definitely bring out some more so i don't know if you heard but i'm quite sure you would have um new york comic con they had a booth yeah, yeah, there that. and that. they also had the uh the uh hard rock cafe meetup as well but it was in new york either way right but yeah that but was pretty cool to see that they've slowly started doing you know it again I mean? like oh yeah i want a global event because they were getting oh, out, right? They were doing Asia, they were doing Canada, you know what I mean? I don't think yeah. they did anything in Australia. You were the one who kind of led some meetups in Australia back in the day, but that's yeah. it, right? So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's been a while, actually. It's been probably two years since our last meetup, but I mean, obviously due to COVID, can't really do much more about it. As much as people always think you're going to quit the game, I, I don't think I'm ever quitting this game. I don't know about you, but it's just, <laughs> you, just you, never, you never can. Even if you want to, you never can. And I don't think I'd ever want to. No, nah, it's tough. It's tough. It's a big part of, if, as much as you wouldn't want to say it, it's a big part of your life. You know, it's just something you play in the background casually. You know, you might have frustrations with it, but it'll keep you busy. Keeps you, you know, thinking about this and other things. And um, it's a good little escape to have. You know, other people have their other things that they do to escape. 
from from the world but uh this is my little my little comfort zone i agree i agree i mean i tell everybody you should always i think everybody should have a mobile game in their life whatever the game is there's tons of other games too but everybody's got to have at least one you know kind of there and running obviously you might be playing other games but you know with all their lives being so busy it's nice to be able to game on the go right and play whatever um, okay, it looks like uh we're a little bit of a dry spell but i we got an yeah. insane amount of lightning i don't know if you're paying attention though it, it just no i did no i've been here. watching i've been watching it's been uh, popping off. Hoping for one more nap by for you. Hopefully a yeah. new one. Right here, jump on. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. All right, now we know his name is Jimmy. Excellent. Oh, oh man. man. I've been looking at some of the old school clips. I mean, we've been uploading some videos on that too. Kind of for just putting yeah. those together. Kind of selfish though, to be honest, because some of those clips are so good, man. Like, so, so good. Oh. Some of the old school memes. Some of the old... Some classic, man. Classics, dude. Yeah, we're still getting Jimmy. lightning. Okay. What's this going to be? It's a little nah, jack o' lantern. But um, what there. have you summoned lately? Have you gotten anything new on your account? Anything interesting? Yeah, so um, when the new units dropped, um, I had a handful of scrolls saved. Um, and we went for them. I think I summoned about 150 scrolls, and we were lucky enough to get both the water and fire totemists. Oh, dang. Okay. So, so you got some totemists complete the collection there. I've been, and, I've, been um, wanting to, I've been wanting to dive in and kind of like see them a little bit more and learn more about them. So maybe we got to do another segment. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys, if you guys are interested. We could do a little segment with uh, Lucky and uh, check them out. Have you tested them and stuff yet? Like, are you kind of, would you say you're yeah. a, an expert? Maybe, maybe not expert, you know, uh, uh, avid, professional? I, I don't know what the in-between of a beginner and an expert would be, but. Look, let's just say we gave him a go in RTA. And, uh, you know, you have to always test them out. You have to see what they're made out of. And, True. Um, yeah, it was a bit of fun. Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll definitely uh, save that discussion for a uh, another video. Maybe we'll have to do something. Let us know your thoughts down below if you guys want to see that. Okay, well, speaking of Totemists, maybe I'll get luckier. Got a couple legendaries. Got a couple maybe. legendary all attributes. We'll see. A second at five would be pretty insane. Like, Not actually sure. insane here. Would definitely put me above. Come on. Just ton pump. Oh! <laughs> We got another nap five. I can't be mad. I can't be upset. I really she can't did... be upset. Is she new? No, she's not. Nice she's not. She's not. No. She yeah. did get buff recently. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, it, tell, tell me when they buff a unit that, you know, you feel good about having like six of them, okay? <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, I'll be ready at that, on that, at that time. But anyways, I'll take crystals all day, right? It's For a sure. resource. It's basically, I'm summoning resources, right? I'm basically improving my account through runes, gems, and everything else. So I, I'm down. Exactly. Hey, all right, we got a couple more here. I, I swear, we got another nat 5, though. Man. You're already ahead, but Dude, let's get Let's, let's, be, let's be greedy. Let's, have I let's ever be done greedy. A summon? Let's get one more. Have I ever done a summon video with you? Ever? This is the first time, right? Nah, this is our first summoning video. Yeah. I might, might need you here every time, then. Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> have to slide into your busy schedule. Get you here every time nah, we do summons. that's fine. Anytime you want, man. Anytime you want. Nine top box. All right, nah, what should we do on. first? Should we do the all attributes, or should we do the LDs? I think you do the all attributes first. All attributes? Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. LD Nat 5, you know, Gianna, oh, you know, man. that'd be uh, kind of nuts. Rock Shasa, okay. Uh, if only the I babies... still consider these. Oh. No. Oh. Okay, you messed it Jimmy's up. brother. Jimmy's brother. Last one. This is it. Bless me, dude. Bless me. Come on. This is the one. It's not the one. Triana. All right, LD time. This is it. See all these guys, you know, and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, you don't want that. You, yeah, you don't want the one on the right. I, mean, I take either one, bro. I take either one. Yeah, they're both new. Let's get all the hey, one. Let's just get beggars, a, let's start with the light. Beggars can't be choosers, you know what I'm saying? I'll True. take sparks and uh, I'd be more than happy. There's actually quite a few LD4s I'd like as well. You have a couple LD Nat 5s, right? Oh, I've only got two, yeah. Oh, only got two. Today. Don't you guys hate? Don't you guys just hate when people say that? Oh, I only got one. Oh, I only got four. Oh, I only got yeah, two. But when the new units dropped, my guildies did a big summoning session, and uh, I think within the first twenty-four hours of the update, we had four new LD fives in the guild. Four of the yeah. new totemists in the no, guild. No, no, oh. no. Four, just four now. Four LD fives. Dang, what'd you guys get? In the guild. A anything notable? Uh, um, there was a Wimsar, a Zarath, an Artemil, and. There was one more, Alexandra. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. I mean, LD Nat 5. Some interesting LD stuff. Oh, yeah, wow. exactly. That's impressive. And you know what I got from 50 LDs? A Belita. Huh? A, Bel a Belita. Oh, nice. That's that's really good. You Game changing. Know she is. That's why you rank 200. <laughs> Congratulations. I know. I was like, oh, look, it's Pokedex. We gotta keep collecting them, y'all, you know? Oh, man. I probably want like an Armarna, a Furyet, a Molly. Those are fine. I don't think there's anything crazy, oh. crazy, but it would be nice to get a Spark. 
in 12. Yeah, a Spock, a Sp a Spock would be a good start. You know, back in the day, it took so long to save these. I mean, don't get me wrong, it still takes a while to save them now, but I feel like you get yeah. so much more now. Like, they give you a nice amount, so it, it, you, get, you get that chance, you know, more often. Though. Exactly. There is so many more ways to get it now than there was before. Yep. We're absolutely spoilt for summons now. There's so many ways to get LDs, especially. Just gotta get lucky, though. That that That's not that's never changed. I mean, exactly. I can't complain either. I got two LDN fives. I got the Dark Bison, and I got the Light Bam, which are both, you know, very solid. Very, very... And Ooh. now, the third Ooh. addition to my LD Dad Fives? Oh, uh, no. Oh, at least it's not HH. Have you got this? You've got yeah, this. Oh, trust, trust me. <laughs> I have definitely got this, my friend. Man. But okay, you know, I'll take it. A lightning. All right, I'm always, um, you know, most people get upset and stuff. I'm always appreciative of the chance. Yeah. Give me a spark and give me something garbage. All right, last one here. No. Okay. Uh, All right, not uh, bad, not bad. Not bad. Not a bad session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like uh, lucky. Madman brings in the luck, so uh, I definitely <laughs> gonna keep this in mind coming into the future summon sessions I do. But yo, Lucky, I appreciate you taking the time off of your busy schedule to join me, kind of vibe out, give you some good luck, and uh, thanks for uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today, man. You got any last words? Go ahead. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. All right, if you guys want to see any more wonderful Summoners War content, this is the place to be, especially for the podcast. You know, I know a lot of you guys look forward to that, so make sure you always check those out when they do drop. Definitely. Every time I tell yeah. tell people like, hey, you got you got any last words to say? They always say that. They like it's it it, it almost sounds like I told you guys. <laughs> to say that before we do this video no i did not i can guarantee he did it this this was yeah. not staged yeah blink twice if uh, never mind okay all right anyways yo guys if you guys enjoyed this video leave that comment down below hit up that like if you guys want to see uh lucky on some future content maybe some more summons and uh see you guys in the next one peace